Hello, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to generate Cypress Mock Awesome report. So the reason why I'm creating this tutorial the because if you are following my channel, you know, it's if you go to the my channel and if you see, you know, uh, you know that's like you know I have a tons of tutorial in regard Cypress, right? Uh, example like uh, Cypress automation for beginner and then there is a uh, more project based on BDD more project based on cucumber so there's a tons of uh, project like in twin Cypress tutorial I do have and anybody can learn uh, you know without uh, uh, you know following or purchasing any pro uh, any uh, you know the course from online but anyways so here you can see there is I have one tutorial it's uh, based on how to create more awesome report in Cypress so it was uh, back in uh, January of uh, 2021 and that time you know there is uh, some compatible issue between Cypress and this Mocha awesome report as a plugin right and you can see as a comment there is a, someone was saying like you know uh, Nicholas was saying so what about the report when running more than one test file I'm running two JS file but only see one uh, one file in the report the last one yes this is the real issue it was the real issue at that time as I said there was a compatible issue between Cypress and the, the Mocha and and the the, uh, the issue was like you know when you 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 have a report and and you have a say five uh, test file and your report only shows the the last test file so because Cypress uh, the the Mocha awesome uh, report it has a default behavior it's replace all the reports all the results by the the, le the last or latest uh, uh, test file so as a result it used to show only the last one the report only shows the last test file so which was not a complete right so we want a report something like that if you have a say two test file and it will show all the uh, you know the test result be based on your two test file like you know if there is a uh, any uh, test cases uh, are from one file is fail it show supposed to show you something screen uh, you know the screen recorder or a screen uh, uh, you capture over here or if it's a pass it will show you pass if it's a pause it will show you pause and it will tell you exactly how long it takes to run each and every test cases from each file you know so so all the tests files results should contain on your on your complete report so it should be like that so but as i said that previously it has the issue now the result you know the solution has been come and recently i found and it shows a you know the mock awesome report is it's built on a complete uh, report such a way so it's it's uh, contain all the test cases you have in your project everything now it's a complete okay so that's why where um, I thought I can make another tutorial so that I can give you the walkthrough how to build that in a new more awesome report okay so let's uh, start so if you uh, there is a steps it's very simple if you go to uh, my website uh, site is codeinboxautomationlab.com and if you come to uh, select category then Cypress and then you know you will see there is a number of uh, article I uh, have our block so one is uh, you know generate Cypress Mocha Awesome which is, which is the based on the solution and here is the steps okay so as I said here is the steps you can see and the first things you have to confirm that you know you are you don't have any compatible issue so it means you need some prerequisite you know version have to be at least 14 or above 14 your Cypress version have to be 6.7 or above okay that's the two requirement you have to fulfill so first you know make sure that let's check your node in your command line in a command uh, or or in terminal for Mac just open your your command prompt and then you, you type node dash version B it will tell you exactly what version of node you have on your machine okay you can see I have 16 which is uh, you know greater than 14 so which is pretty good right so it's no issue and also definitely when you're going to install your Cypress you from the cypress.json file you can see the your Cypress version okay let's go to our VS code I will show you so 
here is my VS code you can see you know I have already installed the Cypress everything is ready here if you check on package.json file you can see there is a all of your dependencies it should show over here like Cypress so I have a Cypress 9.5 so definitely if you install recently Cypress it should be above you know 6 or similar something like that 9.5 okay so there is no compatible issue now we're pretty good to go so just giving you uh, you know high level idea I have it you can see uh, underneath integration I have a two uh, a JS file like a test file uh, test one and test two test one I have you can see the you know uh, for the describe block I said it's my first test suit and underneath I have a number of uh, test cases which is that it block I believe you already familiar you know about the mocha framework so it so here is a number of you can see in uh, in test cases I have you know intentional I put skip two test cases one is over here like one here is a skip another one is here so I have a one two three four five out of five in the first uh, TS, TS1 file I have a two skip so that I can see exactly that report it shows and and TS2 I have you know this is my TS2 and I said as I described I said it's a second test suit and underneath I have a one two three test cases but one I put in a skip so TS1 I have a two skip TS2 uh, I have a one escapes just remember that so we can match with our report okay so let's now set up the report how can we do this let's um, uh, let's open our uh, steps over here so we're good to go for the compatibility or P requirement over here now let's see what needs to do. So in first is install Cypress Mocha Awesome Report. How we can do it? So here is the code. Okay, you can use npm or if you want to use yarn, you can use the yarn. Okay, here is the yarn command. So let's use the npm. Okay, so come to your terminal and make sure you are on your project level. So my project is Cypress Demo over here. You can see. Okay, just paste it over here. Hit enter and then you will see it's it will you know install cypress mocha awesome reporter as a dev dependency so where you can see it you will find again on your package or json file you can see cypress mocha awesome reporter this is the version and as it's added as a dev dependency so first steps done right the next step next step would be number two over here change Cypress reporter so what to do it means in your config file or your package dot JSON file you know uh, add this one package uh, sorry Cypress dot JSON file add this line okay Cypress dot JSON file so copy did this and then open your Cypress dot JSON file over here which is the config file you know we said there's nothing is right now you may have a you know something like at the page load timer you know like if you want to override your default page load timer from six seconds to eight seconds whatever you have you know if you have any uh, configuration setup over here so make sure you use after that you use a comma and then add this or, or if you don't have anything just paste it there right so I have right now this okay okay if you have as I said if you have any other uh, configuration over here make sure at the end of every line use a comma then add another one okay okay uh, make sure you save it and what's next next is okay mm. and also you can see you know you can do it from the file over here or you can do it from the command line okay from on the command line you know you can also you know run this script it will do the exactly the same thing like I did manually you know like I added this on cypress.json file number three go to support index GX file and add this one add this code okay so copy that go to uh, support uh, cypress support index so support and then index file over here open this you know uh, over here and then you can see you have to add another import file this is related you know the command so underneath you know over here the import your file over here the syntax there is already one so you can add over this one okay 
save it and uh, I think that this is the last steps and go to uh, your cypress plugin dot index file and add this code as a plugin because it's a it is an external plugin okay so you have to make sure that it is also you know mentioned in your plugin so where is the plugin plugin over here index file go here and here already it has a code related okay you can remove this it is a code related module.export so you don't have to you know write exactly the the module.export you don't have to write this okay and up until you can see arrow function you don't have to do so all you have to just add this this line okay so place this line over here and again you, on your uh, on your this module export uh, you know um, function you may have more plugin so that's fine you know whatever the code you have underneath just add this one as a last line so it's fine it should be fine so save it okay so make sure you save your uh, all the files once again pretty much I think that's all there's nothing else you can do you know so all you have to just run your your uh, your all the test cases so to run it so let's run it uh, let's clear it and then so to run it I would say npx npx cypress run you know you can do it if you just run this way it will run automatically or you can you know add a specific mention in a browser so let's I can say browser Chrome okay so hit enter let's see the report okay it's running So let me pause it, you know, so it's, uh, uh, it may take uh, um, one minute, depends on how you speed your internet. Okay, after it's done, I will, I will get back to you. Okay, so we're back to uh, the execution. So execution looks like it's done. You can see this is my first test suit, which is the test one TS, uh, TS1 JS file. And it has, it takes, uh, you know, uh, three passing two pending remember that we said in TS1 we have a two skip file right that's why it's a two pending and so it's all three is passed you can see over here and it shows also there is a video compressed file so you can see the video recorded video too and and here is a my second test suit which is the TS2 TS2 dot dot JSON file and here uh, you can say one passing one pending and there is one failing okay so you can see here is the report so out of three one pass one fail so if if it's a fail any test cases any test cases from a J, your J, uh, js file it will consider as a fail so here is the full uh you know the report over here you can see this is spec file there's the two spec file and then you know here is a total you know the test is five out of five three pass two pending and from the second one is a three one pass one fail so over here it says your you know your pass is 50 percent and fail is 50 percent because the second test cases the second uh, spec file the ds2 it has a one fail that's why it's considered as a fail okay so let's see the report why it's failed so it's good to see that there is a one fail so we can see the failed one okay and where we can see the report now so you will see if you don't see any report it should create automatically one uh, you know uh, folder is called the report if you don't see it just refresh it you will see it okay and then underneath the report you will see there is a index.html file there is a asset there's a lot of things you will see there is a screenshot also automatically create okay so here you will find the index.html file right it should also create you can see there's a lots of okay screen okay screenshot okay index dot html file so let's right click on the index docs dot html file copy path and then let's go over here and then paste the path 
okay here we go so here is the report okay my okay it shows you know second one first and first uh, first disk is the last that's fine you can see okay in the first one let's go to the, the first one which is the ts the ts dot uh, ts1 test one dot js file right over here you can see all of them pass and we we, we know that there's a two pending or two skip that's why it's a two you can see you know the, which related test cases was passed over here all the code over here which is pretty nice you know and also it's a green check it means it's passed and for the the test two dot js file you can see over here one pass and as we we have seen the one one pending which is this one or a skip one and here is the one is fail the fail one let's see the fail one so it's give you the cypress error that there was a timeout issue it means you know the the page it didn't load within our default time uh, time frame like which is the uh, you know the six seconds six uh, or, or over here so it means you may increase your page loaded in the time for the page loaded and you can try okay and it shows you that screenshot also it means you know this is screenshot it's uh, it's the home page it's, it takes uh, you know the timeout was uh, issue to load this page so that was the issue okay so you can see this screenshot over here too okay so that's the full report okay and you can even even see where this report it shows I mean I can show you let me go to I know it's my my project is on document over here Cypress demo you know and then in Cypress uh, you know your new root project you can see there is a report okay in the report there this is the HTML so here is the index uh, uh, .html file so you can do the same file you can open from there or here and there is a screenshot also you can see okay then screenshot you can see uh, the it was fail from the test2.js file so you can see test2.js folder it has a one screenshot exactly the same one right so the same one is filled so you can find you know your screenshot from different source from your the project uh, from the your root directory on your folder as well as you can find from your BS code the project uh, where you have a project underneath the report folder okay so that's the pretty much easy you know solution that shows you all the report based on all the you know a JS file or test file you have and it's everything shows in under one complete report which is the mocha awesome that's why it is the awesome file awesome report okay that's all thanks a lot stay tuned have a good one bye bye